right. We need to talk. We need to talk. We need to talk. About comics. We got some news this week and a few <laughs> comic books. <laughs> Quite a few comic books. Yeah. It's a good week. Harper actually read some. What did you read? I actually, I'm back to reading comic books. And some, you know what? some would say, he's Buck. He's Buck. He's Buck. Buck. He's back. Oh, oh wait. We, we need to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, we need to. Uh, <laughs> look, look, moving on. Um, dude, comic books are, are good and fun to read and they make me happy. Oh, it's good to read again. Do you like? I got tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting. That. Oh my god! Uh, for Obviously. audio listeners, uh, Harper got are those real? Yeah, they're That's real crazy. tattoos. I have okay. hero and story tattooed on my knuckles. There's your thumbnail. There's your thumbnail right there. <laughs> That's pretty. That, That's pretty epic, as they would that say. That is pretty. It's a pretty funny lol. It's a pretty epic prank. Right? Yeah, that is. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys, we need to talk about that joke. It's not 2009 anymore. No one says epic or lol. I apologize. It's not really 2009. Do. We don't. But I will not stand three. down for these lies that have been said about me in the media. My former management. No. Um. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what comics did you get? Fuck. Me well, Hunter. You were saying before the podcast you were listing the comics you read, and you missed the biggest one. Yeah, You're a big one? dumb fuck. Well, I don't Doctor know. Strange Fall Sunrise issue one came out this week. Oh, that came out. Yeah. Oh, this is this is the oath thing. What? The oath thing? Like it's like the isn't it the same creative team as the oath? No. What are you talking? Wait. About? What are you talking about? I don't it's know. Trad more. It's is Tradmore like writing, really oh. featuring Tradmore on art as well. Yeah. What What are you talking about? The I thought they were, yeah, I, I don't know. No, you're, you're just, uh, you're doing that thing where you just make shit up. That's well, not yeah, a thing that look, exists. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Seriously, seriously. Uh, they're, they're making the Oath sequel, but Stan Lee was involved somehow. Uh, <laughs> we actually, we actually have Stan Lee uh, waiting in the back. Uh, oh, no, the Zoom call real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's add him to the call, Hunter. Can you can you just do that right now? I hit decline. Oh, oh man, yeah. I'm sorry, man. That's interesting because if you look, if you look just right now, as long as it I takes don't. me, if you look at my Zoom name, where, where am I looking? <gasps> Excelsior, true believers, I'm back. Man, you made it past the defenses. I made it through the gates of fucking hell. I'm back, buddy. Why do I hear helicopters? <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, can I tell you something? Yeah, Stan, what's up? You know, soups. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, you can't say that. You can't say that. No, you can't say that. <laughs> I, I owe him money. Yeah. <laughs> Get your wallet out. Pay up, man. <laughs> um. Yeah, dude. Doctor Doctor Strange, Fall Sunrise. You you just missed it. I guess I did. You Fair. idiot, dude. My, my comics were delayed and my shop only kind of gets the ones that people are reading. So I guess no one read that this week. I didn't see it on the, uh, on the well, show. Well, I mean, it's a debut issue, which is probably also part of it. No one knows about it yet because it's only just started. Well, you can tell us about it uh, when we get to it. <laughs> I will. It's fucking... Oh, it's it, hard. It does look beautiful, though. I want to read it on Marvel Unlimited one day. Oh, it's, it's fucking... Months. I don't want to. I don't want to over. I don't want to overstate it, but it might be a top five freaking Doctor Strange book. <laughs> I was gonna say Daredevil. For some and, and then you ask Hunter, "What's your top five Doctor Strange stories?" And he's like, "Oh, well, yeah, there's so there's so many. There's so uh, many. You know, there, there's like at least four. So it's hard to." <laughs> Number one, video... Deadpool kills the Marvel universe. <laughs> have, you, have, you guys seen, have you guys ever seen the video of LeBron where they he's like reading like a Malcolm X book like in the post game? Like he has no. he has holding the book and they ask him like hey man what's your favorite part of the book and he clearly has not read it he's like oh i kind of uh just started and they're like yeah but i mean you know what what do you uh what do you like about the book and he's like malcolm x was such a inspirational guy he like <laughs> like he's like me doing a book report in seventh grade when i didn't read the book like just has no idea what to say so or hunter when he's trying to go over a comic that he allegedly read <laughs> yeah <laughs> i read everything i just lebron stick to basketball dude <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. 
That's so funny. That must yeah. have been a PR stunt or something. They're like, LeBron, can you read this book and we'll like take photos? And then someone <laughs> asked him and he was just like, uh, I throw the ball up and sometimes it goes in the hoop and sometimes well, it doesn't. And they're like, well, he's, like he's like a known no liar. Guys. Like LeBron, is like he? God, Godfather 1 and Godfather 2 are his two favorite movies of all time and he's seen them a hundred times each. So in one of his post-game press conferences, the guy asked him like, hey, what's your favorite like line or favorite quote? And and he just like again goes with the oh I mean there's so many good lines or quotes I mean I don't know that I could one <laughs> why and, would like, you and, make that up and they literally go like can you just name can you name one quote you like in one scene and he's just like ah you know there's just there's so many why would what you lie f- about your favorite <laughs> yeah why <laughs> would you make that up yeah I mean why would Hunter lie about reading all these comics like I'm pretty sure Fair they point I'm pretty sure I, they did reveal what did Peter do he just doesn't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it later that. but this this doctor strange issue like because it is so it is so complexly written it's quite fancy it's quite like novel like but old school there were multiple parts where i was reading where i'm just like hunter's gonna have no idea what this means and there were even <laughs> words that i came up to and i went hunter will not know this word like there's a page <laughs> i want to read later and i i cannot wait to read it because i'm gonna doctor? be like yeah, Doctor is there and Strange. Like, he's and already like, <laughs> Is that one word or two? Or is there a hyphen? <laughs> no, Strange is is two words, yes. Stra oh. and Ange. Ange. I know Ange. I don't know mm-hmm. Stra, though. I know Ange? <laughs> <laughs> Have we got any news of the week? Uh, yes, we do. Um, so, TikToker Soups. <laughs> 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 you, you guys can look it up. The influencers um, are dropping like flies these days. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> can, can Hunter be next already? Jeez. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting. I'm hoping. Hunter when he makes his Night from the West fan film. <laughs> there we go. James Gunn. What did the goblin tweet? <laughs> well, he saw he Expendables. The three. <laughs> yeah, oh, say, no. Dude, Expendables the James three. Gunn shit. That's a real fixture. Oh my God, that Christmas special comes out like Tonight. tomorrow. Tonight? Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ, that's nuts. So, uh, special, sorry. during an interview or something, James Gunn said that, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm very professional. Yeah. James Gunn said that, uh, was asked, hey, why isn't Nova in the Guardians movies? And he said he was never a plan. <laughs> so, mm. even though there's been rumors since day one that Nova was cut, apparently he's never a plan. And the reason was because he only wanted one human on the team and he wanted that to be Star Lord. He didn't want to have two humans. So, bada boom, bada bing. Uh, mm. Sentry is rumored as the villain for the Thunderbolts movie. Oh, um, fucking please, please, God, please. Well, I looked oh. it up. I looked up uh, Eddie Brock's source, and yeah. many people are reporting on this, but the first person was Daniel RPK. Oh, oh no. no. He was the first person to mention. Oh, God. So, likely not. But that makes so much sense. It sounds exactly like a Daniel RPK story. Yeah, it's going like, to be Century. You, you have like, Century oh. as the villain for a movie where the people against him are Bucky Barnes. Oh, he would <laughs> like, kill. He would like, kill every single one on that Yelita team. What is Yelena going to do? It wouldn't even be a fucking competition. <laughs> Like you have Damn. this character who's so powerful to the point that he can't control it and could like knock down buildings versus agent US agent. I said you agent, know, you, US you, know agent. you know who you know who beat the century once? Oh, you, know, you know who beat the century? No, he worked with the century, but do you know who beat the century once? The incredible Hulk in World War Hulk. Okay. No, that's no one cares. No, that is World War Hulk. Yeah, yeah S- Sakar. Um <laughs> no. Iron Man. Iron Man beat him. Good stuff. What's your source on that? Uh, uh, Iron Man... Iron Man 2008 issue 14, maybe? How many issues does that run go for, though? I don't think... No, 2004 issue 14. Uh, It goes for 35 issues. Was it Junkyard Joe number one by Jeff Johns? I work for G.I. Joe now. Did you know that? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, he does. Do you know how he beats him? It's a, it's actually kind of cool. And it's a yeah, very yeah. superman thing. Let's he beats it. him. He beats him by like amplifying the sentries, um, like hearing so that he, the sentry hears like every person screaming for help across the entire world or something. 
and so like he's being deafened by the by the pa- you know man of steel when you know, very good manage, yeah 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 when man of steel like we he is everyone that's in pain it was like that it's kind of I, dead I, of I sent as well. a Superman it's good like that recently mm, it's good stuff i just like that as a trope because like a way of defeating an all-powerful character is obviously not kick their bum this one's from the uh oh 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 Ooh, no, no, no. Yeah, pull it out put it back in whoa what do you mean by that whoa hey no 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. what do you mean by that yeah, what, what do it's you not mean gonna work but that's the biggest cool. piece of dog shit i've ever <laughs> i feel like tyler right now oh yeah i forgot we got to say tyler's not here oh tyler's on vacation in new york city yeah he's doing fucking thanksgiving and he's the only one that didn't show up mm-hmm. he's actually at the Cunt. thanksgiving set of spider-man 2002 he, Ooh. he he said, uh, "Do what you have to do with Mary Jane, and then broom her. She'll be stoned." <laughs> yeah, I remember, remember rewatching that with. I mean, that that's not the greatest Green Green Goblin scene of all time. No. <laughs> Norman was spitting OG facts. <laughs> he's a real, he's a real bastard in that movie. Bed, he's like more oh, he's unhinged great. than I remember. Yeah, no, obviously he's great, but like he's a real dick. When he's like, when he's like, get what you want for your mother was beautiful. They all were. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But yeah, we we forgot that it was we're recording this on American Thanksgiving, which isn't a thing for Harper and I. So Harper Mm -hmm. and I was just like, let's record it an hour, and JD and Tyler just like, what? (laughs) I know Canada has a Thanksgiving. Does Australia have one? Um. Oh, we have we have Cull Kangaroo Day. We just all go out and just fucking slice and dice kangaroos like nothing. Oh, I honestly can't even tell you if that's real or not because I kind of believe it. No, no. Although we do have overpopulation of kangaroos, so people you guys do really do kill them. <laughs> Kangaroo meat, you can eat it. I would. Try I mean, it. I guess you can eat any meat really if you cook A it. Kangaroo. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'll put any meat in my mouth, no problem. That's all. What I'm you saying. what? What do you mean by that? <laughs> What do you what do you mean by that? What do you, what oh, man, do you mean this, by is, that? this is one of those episodes, isn't it? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Can you um, remember that it's like over a hundred and like ten episodes ago since I went, hey guys, I'm gonna drop a little truth bomb. My name is also Josh. Dude, that, that first episode I was on, shoot me in the fucking forehead. Good lord. Maybe, maybe that'll be the next uh a hero story watch party. We just watched your first episode. <laughs> oh jeez, that'd be bad. And you're just like, oh. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh god, we I was weren't so even on like, video oh, yet. I was like, my heroes. Yeah, thank fuck we weren't, dude. I would have. I wish we were. So we could have seen your like... fucking dorky <laughs> smile. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> fuck me. Oh boy. Uh, uh, Chris Hemsworth was on a podcast called Happy, Sad, Confused, and he's on a hero story in about seven minutes here. So <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. But he was he's also talking Alzheimer's. about his health. He was talking about his documentary series on Disney Plus that just came out. And mm. one person said, hey, Thor 5, that happening? What, what do you think would happen if there were to be a Thor 5? Like, what would you do? And he said something pretty, pretty interesting. And I wrote it all down. So <laughs> I want to die, is what he said, I'm pretty sure. Pretty you much. Look at Thor, he said, you look at Thor 1 and 2, they're quite similar. Ragnarok and Love and Thunder are similar. I think it's about reinventing it. I've had such a unique opportunity with Infinity War and Endgame to do such drastic things with the character. Oh, I enjoyed that. that voice immediately, didn't you? I did, yeah. I was like, I can't. No wonder it. you're the dungeon master. Fucking yeah. hell. Here, I'll try again. <laughs> I like keeping people on their toes. It keeps me on the to- on my toes. It keeps me invested. Fuck. I've said this before, but when it becomes too familiar, I think there's a risk in getting lazy. You then, dropped it again. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> then, because I know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm even invited back as Thor, but if I was, I think it would have to be drastically different version and tone and everything, just for my own sanity. Laughs. Thor lost his mind in the last one. He's got to figure it out now. Sounds like he didn't really like Love and Thunder. That yeah, neither did I. No one did. That's fine, Chris. (laughs) It's just wait, wait, Harper. Can you do the end of Love and Thunder, the last uh, quote where he's like, "They were, they were love. They were love." And thunder. That was right. That was right when I fucking tied the noose, and I was like, "All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. I was gonna jump, yeah." But then I got the post-credit scene of Hercules, and I was like, "Whoa, I can't wait to not fucking watch that. I couldn't care less." Imagine like right. Thor. What a fucking idiot. Who would read? Yeah, imagine, dude. Imagine liking live-action Thor and Aquaman. <laughs> oh, 
absolute version. Imagine being named Hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gatherer over here. <laughs> Uh, brand new, huge scoop, 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 <laughs> scoop from at Uno the Reverse, a random Twitter account who <laughs> uh, James Gunn posted Happy Thanksgiving on Twitter, and he posted a bunch of DC characters at a Thanksgiving dinner table. And at Uno the Review, the what is wrong with well, these- dude? What is this episode? <laughs> this is <laughs> hold on. Okay, this is why we needed to talk. Yeah, this is why we got to talk, guys. <laughs> Uh, he said, wow, James, no Green Lantern in this image. Therefore, I can confidently claim that Gunn and Saffron have no intention of adding the character into the DC universe. This is a scoop I am 100% confident in. And James Gunn <laughs> replied to this guy saying, probably not a good scoop. Happy Thanksgiving. And then Uno the Reverse tweeted, James Gunn confirms Green Lantern in the DC universe. <laughs> Brilliant. That is well played. That is Which I very think is well pretty played. funny. I already that trust that guy more than Daniel RPK. That is awesome. <laughs> like yeah. his source is literally James Gunn. <laughs> James Gunn. Yeah, and he's technically right. Like, <laughs> so, he baited him into an exclusive. <laughs> That's good shit. That dude's playing a- 4D chess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then my main bit of news is dawn of dc which was announced right when we finished yeah, recording we last, last week, week. Yeah. I, I wish to pray for times like these because we literally like what two months ago a month ago literally talked about like how dc's in the shitter and they really need to get their shit together <laughs> and they're not cutting it dude that was kind of a hard that. bar yo dc in the shitter gotta get the shit together oh uh, did you uh, hear a story <laughs> something something um, timmy's talk what do you say? I'm gonna hit her. Is that what you <laughs> said? What I heard. Dude, you are you are unhinged these last few months. I like when Reed Richards told Sue to fuck off and she was like, go pop. Moving on. <laughs> oh, I smudged my tattoo. Oh that shouldn't happen, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't yeah, know. Like, it's if, you if you would have gone to like an artist and said, Can I get a Superman quote on my ankle? Like that he doesn't actually say, that would have been like that. <laughs> That's a little odd, yeah. But I'm okay. just starting to realize maybe Tyler is the glue that holds us all together because I feel like we're more off the rails without him somehow. No, all right, Dawn, can we, Dawn of DC. I'm so excited to talk about this. I've been thinking about it literally since it came out right after we started recording. That's interesting. <laughs> like, you're really excited and I couldn't give a fuck. I don't no, think I, I have so much hype. I'm with JD here. Like, I'm, so I'm with Tyler. I know I Tyler think... doesn't give a shit either. But I'm excited because I think the DC can be great. I think that they were at that at one point, right? Like they of were course, yeah. on a so really you, great trajectory. They usually they are. Mm-hmm. It's just the, not, in recent not, years. You don't have to reintroduce the JSA. They're already back. Yeah, yeah finally. <laughs> They're back. He's back. He's back. He's back. We need to talk about, <laughs> about Donna DC. So I DC announced Donna DC. I believe this is their next like line of comics, like Infinite Frontiers over. Like their their rebirth, so it's called Dawn of DC. It starts twenty twenty three with uh, Lazarus Planet, which is the event that I told you guys about, and you guys hated it. And I'm like, it's by Mark Wade, and you guys are just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but after Lazarus Planet, DC basically announced over. They said over twenty new series. Not all of them have been announced yet, but they're making twenty new series. And the only one so far about Batman is a Joker series. I used That's to pray it. for times like these. Mm-hmm. We got Shazam by Mark Wade and Dan Mora. Ongoing series. World's Finest yes! is still happening with those two as well. Dan Mora has proven with Once in Future they could do two books at once. So, yeah, some, Shazam. Some would say he's just the master of double teaming. Y- yeah. <laughs> Hold on, JD. JD, what yeah. do you mean by that? Yeah, what do you, you mean, mean by that? Uh, Harbor, Harbor, remember when we talked about, um, you know... Think, you know, yeah, oh, I remember. It's hard to forget. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. bro. Oh, oh, Good times. oh supreme. What? Uh, anyway, for exclusive hero story content. Don't worry, Hunter. Moving on. Shazam! Like this is the book that I Again, I'm adding Dan to my Moore. list. I mean, that's that's got to be the best creative team in current comics, right? Who? Yeah, actually, Mark Wade and Dan Mora. Well, that's like. <laughs> 
<laughs> JD, Mark Wade is like you pair him with anyone, and it's already like eighty percent of, of the of way course. there. But but, but Dan then Moore's Dan Mora the is like artist in the industry. Oh, he's he's like if he was on any character, you go yeah. Done. Like if, Done. if Dan Mora Easy. was a if Dan Mora was a Batman story, Hunter would be like, "This is like definitely top five. But he did yeah. Detective Comics. So, <laughs> I want I want more of that. <laughs> Thank you for is that. that. that, was, uh, that too, I like that. That, that, was too great, close. that was a great that was a great joke. Usually I make those shitty jokes. I feel like that joke's been made multiple times on this show. I'm pretty sure. I think so. Well, you, you're gonna have to wade on that till about uh, oh! February 2023. That was a Dan good joke. <laughs> oh, I really Ooh. hit the mark on that one. Hey, yo. Hunter, Come on, Hunter. You can't follow up on this. Page. No, I'm Come not on, even going to try. Sh- D- Billy, Billy B. Batson. <laughs> wow. Dude, no, you're an Mama. embarrassment to your country. I know. To his country. Hey, get it? Because he said the the word <laughs> as long as as long as dan mora doesn't stop doing world's finest this is absolutely beautiful news and i will be reading this at least in my if country does. A free man freddie freeman sorry go on <laughs> Hunter, i just cool. thought of that i had to say it before i forgot you know that was Shazam, freddie freeman you know Oh, oh, I get it now. Now that you there explained, we go. Mm, now there it makes go. sense. That was, Instead of saying uh-huh. it next time, you should write it down in Tef. Like in text. In text. <laughs> Tef, you might want to update that name for the modern age. What do you want to change your name to? Just stares at the fucking camera. <laughs> we both nailed it. We all did it. <laughs> Bad, just just like, week. There it is. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, no, this is the best possible choice for Shazam, I'd say. Um, what, Hunter, really bad. Some... Oh yeah, hundred percent. Harbor? Huh? What? Is... No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't. not listening. Will I be reading what Shazam? Shazam, Shazam. by Mark nah. Wade. No. No. What? I'm Dude, I'm not, I'm not reading Mark World's Finest. If I was gonna read Mark Wade, I'd read. How are you not reading World's Finest? That World's Finest is, is so good. <laughs> okay, hear me out, JD. Hear me out. Ready? I feel nothing in my heart anymore, and I'm only just recapturing it. Okay, I'll start reading it soon. Well, it's not out yet. You so. know what? You know what? I kind of I, I know what it's like to be burnt out by comics, and I know what that resurgence feels like when you get back on. It's good. It's when you good. when you when you hop back on that, it just it feels so good. It so feels good, and you need to have that. You need to have it. Yeah. So I, so I know that you're back at that, and I know it's gonna be good. I'm it's gonna help good, convince dude. you, Harper. Obviously, like it's not out till February, so you have time, but. Imagine recording a hero story with us all talking oh. Shazam with Mark Waite. Oh, with man. Mark Waite. With oh, what? <laughs> Mark what? Waite. Mark Waite is the fourth host. We replaced Tyler. It's already happening. Oh, my God. He's here <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, are, we, are we going through? I think we should set up the premise, the, the premises, the premise of this episode, even though we're, you know, 30 minutes into it. Already, but, <laughs> started but, this episode. <laughs> but like, you know, are we going through each individual title and just out of 10? Let's do it out of 10. Let's write it out of 10. For, for, oh, oh, yeah, for Donna DC. All right. I like that. Let's okay, do, let, let's let me do, get the full yeah. list up. Let's do the full list because I'm curious right. to go through because, uh, you know, um, just to just to break the fourth wall for the audience, uh, we we don't have a lot planned for this episode, so this <laughs> might uh this might get us through. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely a shorter week for sure. Since yeah. we got some good time. comics to talk about, but there is no quiz. There's nothing. There are to some review. stuff for Donna DC that's already been announced that we've talked about before, but I like the idea of just kind of mentioning it also. Go the first through it. I, I enjoyed when we did that. We did it for something. For the we did event. it for the Lazarus, whatever. Mm-hmm. Why am I getting? Well, I'll say so I don't know calls. if any of us are reading this, even though I've heard really great things. But Action Comics hmm. by uh, Phil Kennedy Johnson. I would have to catch up on all the War World stuff that's been going on, which I'm, again I've heard is good. I've but... heard it's really good. Yeah. Huh? That's what? Really good. Uh, Action Comics by Phil Kennedy Johnson. Werewolf stuff. What? Did you say werewolf stuff? I said action comics. I said war no, world. No, JD. War, oh, war, war world. world. Oh, yeah. world, war, war, war. Oh, fuck me. I can't talk. War world by war, night. War, war, war. <laughs> mm. 
world. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. War world. Um, Superman by Joshua Williamson. Say that name again. Excited. I'm. I'm gonna read it. Yeah. Every time you say Joshua Williamson, you go Joshua Williamson. <laughs> well, that's how you say his name. Say it properly. Say it. Joshua Williamson. <laughs> friend of the podcast joshua williamson is he though <laughs> uh, i don't know he was going to edmonton comic expo and then he canceled the week before so i never got to meet him so maybe not he probably found out like oh that hero story guy lives there i've already met one of them i'm not gonna a, a, a a mission a friend of the podcast yeah there they Yo. are do you do that post oh, for JD. picture jd there is a that, that, significant bulge in those uh, in those basketball shorts, my friend. I um no comment. <laughs> well, you know what it was? I saw Tyler online, so I got a little bricked up. Oh, <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> uh, do you do this? Is this for Spider Man or is it for like Rock or? It's What's actually uh, it's actually an Italian thing, like you know, uh, Polly Walnuts on the Sopranos, but. No, I just I, I like to do it in photos. I, I'm, I'm gonna say Spider Man. I never know. I never. I never know what to do with my hands in photos. You clearly so do. Oh, well, I figure. If I what do, do you that, do? Actually, no, that's actually a good question. JD does that. Hunter, what do you do? Because I have a default <laughs> as well. I always do this. Yeah, I, I do that as well. No, 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 no gang signs. Just kidding. I love peace. I no gang signs. Peace. I'm just kidding. Throw it up there. I either peace, do that I or peace. I do this. A job with peace. I do a lot of wave. Uh... I used to I thought, do like I used I to do it throw your way. arm straight out and you, or and I thought I was a little bit too. I often I often point at the person too if it's with a person like you know. Or I you sometimes just let, just... or you just let Jason Momoa steal your girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> what? I'll just move it over that. that like someone's gonna me. someone's gonna screenshot that, and you know what? It is what it is. That's okay. The Adventures of Superman John Kent miniseries by Tom Taylor. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. <laughs> I'm interested, but only because Tom Taylor has been like the end of the, the end of issue two is going to be like it's going to change. <laughs> We've already listed three books and not rated any of the Oh, sorry, <laughs> Asher Comics. I don't have a rating. Question I'd mark. Like to read. Sense, I yeah, question mark. You Harper? I could zero. Couldn't, couldn't care less. Okay, <laughs> Superman think, by Joshua Williamson. I'm gonna give it a nine. Like I'm. That's really like a that. seven. Yeah, that's kind I, of. I think for me it's a solid eight because like it has Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> so like we're getting back to the roots of Superman. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but he gets you... shot in the head in the first issue. Oh <laughs> I heard shit! That. Dude, that's so now I knew it was comic accurate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Adventures of Superman, John Kent. I'm gonna give that one like a like a one. five. Like I'm right in the middle. One. Yeah, I think I give it like a solid five. Not that I'm really interested in reading it. I'm interested in hearing what happens. Yeah, that, that's a good way of saying it. One. <laughs> Climate change is ended by a sign. All right, Harper's going to give this one a 10. I think JD and I are going to give it a low score. The Unstoppable Doom Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I put on the glasses and it's just like, what you would call it? Uh, oh, um, it's like negative, man. Yeah. Um, eight. <laughs> I'm not gonna read it, but I <laughs> I give it like a for for my personal excitement, I give it like a one because I'm not I, I don't care for the Doom Patrol. Yeah, that's I fair. Give it a um a one because you don't care about the Doom Patrol. Yeah, I mean I get I, I really don't care. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna read it. I We're gonna get a lot of people be like you guys should check out the show. Show it's really good. I said show. show. <laughs> uh, you mean a lot of people or like the one person we know that is obsessed with Doom Patrol. <laughs> Ryan, yeah, yeah. Hey, Ryan, what's going on? He's Super, not listening to this. Superboy, <laughs> the man of tomorrow. Uh, that, that's the that's the Connor uh, Kent. Yeah, but that's the one that like won the poll. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the round yeah. robin winner. So it's a mini series, one of six. Is anyone uh, writing that? I mean, obviously someone's writing it. Isn't anyone notable? No, it's, it's being no manifested. Writer. Yeah. <laughs> It's a watch. Uh, let's see. Oh, all right. Tomorrow <laughs> by Ken- fun of me. Kenny Porter, who wrote Flash the Fastest Man Alive. No way! The Ezra Miller tie in? Yo! I no idea who that is. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, I don't even know what this is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Damn. I give this one like a like a six. I'm probably not going to read it, but I'm glad that he has a series. I'd read it when it's on DC Universe, but. Which it might get added to DC Universe right away. Robins, when that was coming out, got added to DC Universe right away. Oh, Yo, yes. Jedi, you read what this t-shirt says, bro? Boston, Massachusetts. Let's go. Pack my can, have it yet. 
Yeah, Mark Wahlberg. Fucking dickhead. Yeah. What's <laughs> happening? Sorry. Never I drank all plane. my milk. Never I feel kind of sick. Mark Wahlberg. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. It's the biggest piece of excellence I've ever seen. <laughs> we'll uh, just say what? <laughs> well, see, here's the thing, though. I feel like my rating wouldn't wouldn't be fair because, like, you know, the the scale ends at ten, and so does Hal Jordan's preference. So I feel wow. like I can't oh, give an accurate. Bit, that was a long poem. That was on clever. That joke, but you know clever. how it work. I was gonna be like, it, it goes off of your excitement. Um, for this yeah. one, ten. <laughs> I'm so yeah, happy to read more like Hal nine Jordan. For me, just because I'm kind of a little cautious about what the story is gonna be. Because where do you go from what the last know, yeah. two Hal Jordan stories were? Yeah, I guess we don't know what it's going to be about yet, do we? Oh, it says um, Hal Jordan returns to Earth to his blockbuster superhero action storytelling roots. That's all it okay. says. Okay. I mean, that, that, that's all I want. Go back to the <laughs> cool. It's unfortunate that uh, that it's a co- it's a collab between um, uh, Jeff Thorne and Megan Fitzmartin. Jeff Thorne, Greg. No, Thorne. no, no, <laughs> no. It's been written, written Jeff by Thorne, right? Jeffrey Thorne. Yeah, yeah. Jeffrey yeah. Thorne. Mariko Tamaki, the one who oh, wrote Detective yeah. Comics, that's been yeah. pretty popular. Yeah, and then uh, Green Lantern, John Stewart. It's the biggest piece. The of biggest dog. piece of dog shit. <laughs> John Stewart is so fucking boring, and I will stand. I will die on that hill. He's boring. Make him interesting. Alone. He's boring alone. What, He's what so is his, sick. What, what does his description say? Uh, John Stewart is written by Philip Kennedy Johnson. Oh uh, wow! Ooh. Yeah. The beloved mm-hmm. John Stewart gets back to basics as a military trained gritty but heroic Green Lantern. That's all it says. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I mean, that sounds like you just took his Wikipedia and like kind of copy and paste. And yeah, 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 but but Phil Kennedy Johnson—that's a big name. Is it just going to be John, or is it going to be like, hey, I'm going to appear other lanterns? Because I'd be more interested if it's like a other lanterns in the book, but it's still headed by John. Isn't he's still the leader of the core, right? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> cartoon <laughs> sneeze was yeah. did you like levitate when he did the- <laughs> i did all right <laughs> i gotta sneeze again <laughs> oh looking forward to it dude it's a fucking beauty or- oh no you don't I, have it a- oh well i tried to do it the first time i missed though oh <laughs> hit or miss i guess i never miss huh you got a boyfriend i bet he doesn't bet he get doesn't get you. Get you. Uh, <laughs> dab like hunter murray Murray, this <laughs> is uh he's gonna dab is he to go oh my god what is this oh, he's episode? going for it he's going for it Lowest dab dab. like hunter murray he's looking kind of chunky oh! these days oh! holy shit Yo, he hit that shit like how jordan hit that 10 year old oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Like Hank Pym hit the shit out of his wife. Okay. Uh, I, I hit the like uh like Superman hits Lex hit Luthor. That shit like Soup's hit his manager. Oh, oh right the ribs, right the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, uh, Phil Kenny Johnson's a big name for John, <laughs> but yeah, he's still the leader of the core. I don't think that's been retconned or anything. So I don't know. For this one, I give like a seven. I don't think I'd read it though. I need to wait to see what it's going to be about and also it says there's no artist announced yet so i i I think i'd pull hal jordan so far i'm pulling superman hal jordan and shazam you don't want to know who hal jordan's pulling (laughs) (laughs) oh man i'm gonna be back up to reading like 10 fucking titles carol ferris just give give him carol ferris please that's correct (laughs) Remember how How and Pals ended with them getting back together, and then just nothing happened. Remember in the them? New Fifty Two when Kyle Rayner was with Carol? That was weird. Oh yeah, that is weird. That is. They were weird. Eskimo brothers. Him and How. Wow, that's uh, something. That is weird. Yeah, just like you and me, JD. Yeah. You know. Oh, this saying. is an interesting oh, yeah. one. I actually don't know what your guys' opinion is. Green Arrow by Joshua Williamson. This, uh, I think uh, this honestly works better for Josh as instead of Superman. Like, I think this character. Fits agreed. More. Yeah, I, I really like uh, Oliver and his few appearances in like Death of the Justice League and Dark Crisis. So, well, what is his blurb for the uh, like what it's going to be? Oliver Queen has been lost since Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, and his family is determined to find five him. years on a hellish island. No, <laughs> <laughs> my name is Oliver. 
but there are dangerous forces just as determined to keep them apart at any cost. Green Arrow by Joshua Williamson with artist Sean Izaski, Thunderbolts, which launches in April as an action-packed adventure across the DC universe that sets up major stories for 2023. So Ten. it seems like, because Oliver made a deal with, uh, what's his Oh face? yeah, with the, Dark with the monitoring in he, season he, he seven, he made the deal with the monitor. Pariah? So you could have me and Black I made Mary a deal. And Barry and I'll come back to life. <laughs> I made a deal, Barry. I gave my life so you and Kara could live. It's tying into the CW. Oh I my God! It is. On this one, you I, have I think, failed this universe. I really like Green Arrow. I'm realizing. I think I'll check this one out. I give this one like a like an eight. Yeah, it's an eight okay. for me. Ten. Whoa. Wow. You're gonna read it? <laughs> no. You're, you're gonna pirate that shit? <laughs> Huh? You're gonna arr, it'd be a pirate. No, story. don't pirate comics. Absolutely, do not pirate comics. If you pirate comics, you're a low life piece of shit, and you deserve to die. <laughs> so, 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 that's a bit extreme. I mean, we all agree. I mean, arr. yeah. I mean, buy shit, man. Actually, it's unless it's, it's very controversial. Whenever Hunter would make a post on it back in the day, he would mm. just get shit on. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's. Do you want my actual opinion? If you were pirating comics before Comicsology turned to shit, come on, man. If you were pirating afterwards, oh, I can't Our see why. <laughs> like... <laughs> you can I say if, you, if you can, like, support. Yeah, the, try your support. best. Support, yeah. Just yeah. If, if you could afford it, why not just pay for it? Like, you're supporting the mm. community. The or at least do, like, a story of heart, like Sideways is dead because people pirated that book. Yeah, that's I mean, true, what, yeah. What, what I'll say is, for countries where it's like literally impossible to get comics and comicsology doesn't exist, I kind of get it, right? Harper, you're kind of in a tough boat to fucking get comics. Oh, but, dude, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, if you live in like America or Canada and you can get comics, like you got a comic shop, I mean, go, you to, your, go to your comic shop. shop. I, like, I, I just want, I just want like artists to be supported. But at the end of the day, if someone said to me that they still pirate, I don't give a shit. I mean, if I ever, like, if if I'm ever looking for like a comic book panel and I want it in HD, it's a book I've read. You generally I get should. them from pirate sites anyway, because you look up an issue, you go on Google Images. The images are from Read Comics dot whatever the fuck, and I'm like, oh, there mm -hmm. it is. <laughs> I never thought about that. Well, if yeah, you're like 100%. a big artist like Dan Mora, like Dan Mora could be like, I'm done World's Finest, I'm done Shazam, and if, like Marvel will be One grabbing it. <laughs> image dark horse they're all like he has jobs but if you're a brand new artist and your book gets pirated yeah, like, so much that it gets canceled and you just yeah knife in the west if you're me and it already got put on read comics dot two yeah exactly read <laughs> Wait, comics <what>? dot two <laughs> like, so if, you're, if you're a new artist and then your book gets canceled that means you don't have a job anymore like you gotta go start mm. applying again yeah, then so, you have to like go work for fucking gi joe yeah, exactly yeah. this is the story of my life right here so, so support comics. Anyways, ex uh, oh, the next comic which you should all support is Batman: The Brave and the Bold number one. Don't support it. Pirate it. Pirate. Okay, I'm actually I'm, kind of interested. I'm saying, in this one. Tom. King. No, 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 no. This is my this is my plea for audience, King. JD. What? I didn't say the creative team. <laughs> if it's a DC, if it's a DC Batman book, I mean, it was, it's not going to be a Marvel Batman book, but if it's a Batman book, pirate it. Let them know we will not stand for this anymore. Let them know the Man in Black sent you pirate that shit yeah exactly isn't it tom Wait. king and mitch so it says a classic title returns with the tales of the dark knight and core stories building at the dawn of dc coming in may no no one Did okay he? i thought you, okay. oh god coming in may oh coming Oh, Coming. whoa! What he's wait? What wow. he's what? what? Sorry. Jesus, that there was we go. really poor. Jeez, was a hey guys, we uh, we'd like to apologize. Yeah, for that, was that was inappropriate. That was inappropriate. I'm sorry. We're really sorry. Um, Batman: The Brave and the Bold features top writers and artists, including Tom King, Mitch Gerards, Gillian March, Gabriel Hardman, Dan Mora, Rob Williams, Gabriel Whatman, <laughs> Rob Williams, and more. More of that. More of that. <laughs> <laughs> interesting all right next, uh that one i give like a like a six i'm a little more interested after seeing the team but those just batman urban legends but with a different yeah. title uh, sure. I, don't, I mean it's like you get another number one out there but yeah i don't know I'm kind of interested but eh. maybe i'll check out the king and jared stuff but yeah yeah um cyborg 
zero out of ten. It's the zero. I couldn't give a fuck. Three creative. You should probably yet. move. <laughs> Who's the creative team? Uh, not announced yet. Comes oh wow, that's fucking exciting. It just says Cyborg will get his own series. <laughs> Here it, it says if, okay the actual thing dark crisis and the earth forever changed victor stone and now as dawn of dc rises he might just hold the secrets to earth's future he gets his own series called cyborg in may talent team will be revealed that he can't handle day. his own solo book and every time it's tried it's failed i read all of cyborg rebirth and i really and enjoyed all, it all of new, did you read all of new 52 as well i read the was there two series i think there's two series for new 52 I, I, read I read one of them. I thought there was two. Maybe there is just one. Then yes, I have. Um, you are a cyborg expert. Cyborg Rebirth is very good. I highly recommend it. No one bought it, so it was canceled. But it was actually really good. There's a female you, cyborg you called Barry, them, like where it was one from uh, the Crimson Chin, where it was like, uh, "I got canceled," but it was cyborgs. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. I got. I, I missed. I missed the comic book hunter memes. That one was a classic. Yeah, for cyborg, it's actually really good. Like, there's there's a person that does the same experiment that with a mother box that got cyborg his body, but she like purposely does this so she could get the body. Yeah, it's it's a good story. Huh. But yeah, she's never gonna appear again because no one seemed to have read that. Uh, next one, uh, we already talked about just going on the list is Shazam ten. This is actually my most yeah. Yeah, so like this life. is my favorite one on the list. I, I think the thing about Shazam is that, like, like I said in our chat, they've been trying to make Shazam work for a long time now. Like ever since they've changed him from Captain Marvel to Shazam, mm -hmm. and it it hasn't stuck enough. Even though it's been like some <laughs> good stuff, it hasn't lasted. So I think we get some longevity out of Wade and Mora, and I do want more of that. So yeah. God damn it. More of that. <laughs> well, I'll read the description. It's fairly long, but it says the creative team behind the smash hit Batman Superman World's Finest, writer Mark Wade and artist Dan Mora. Smash shit. Yeah. <laughs> A smash hit. Smash hit, right? Smash It's reunited once again on Shazam. Available in <laughs> mass. Oh, shit. it's not available Sorry. till June. It's coming on June. Wow. Whoa. Billy Batson. I, mean, I, guess, I guess that kind of makes sense if they're going to like build up the art. So, like, maybe. Yeah. Somebody get a lot of world's finest done doesn't get delayed too uh billy batson is back as the champion in the action comedy comic about a boy of powers that rivals superman's my bad and a whole lot of growing up left to do we'll see shazam hanging out the rock eternity his secret clubhouse that he can travel through space and time as well as punching dinosaurs in the face seeing how long he could hold his breath on the moon and getting into wild and funny adventures with his tiger talkie tawny by his side Dude, everything you mentioned right there, like I couldn't, you couldn't pay me to fucking read it and give a but, shit. I couldn't it's Mark Wade and Dan. Moore. I know it's Mark Wade. Okay, all right. I have a hot take now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <sighs> no, it's that's no, all right. You probably are you, be, are you gonna be one of those guys I, who's like Mark Wade's kind of changed since the lawsuit? I just think you know the the messages from a couple of years ago. Let them make their Spider Man movie. No, <laughs> joke. <laughs> Sorry, what are we talking about again? Uh, the Mark, next Mark book, Wade, Dan Mora, Shazam. I'm, I'm no, I I, but I wait, think that wait, who's on art? Dan Mora, <sighs> your teeth again. Come on, uh, come on, what are you I'm showing me? Come that. on, <laughs> what yeah, are I mean, you showing me? Come on, come open on. your eyes. Open I, your eyes. The next book <laughs> is The Penguin. I, I wait, 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 wait. I'm not done. Wait, 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 wait. I think that Very bad. I think they'd be better off going back to the little bit more stoic, heroic, you know, Shazam. Like I think that Jenny works better. Bars again. Oh, <laughs> stoic, <laughs> heroic, <laughs> fucking Shazam. I, yeah. I, I think that would work better, like when he was Captain Marvel, and I feel like that description kind of makes him like, you know, seeing how long he can hold his breath on the moon and all that shit. Like that kind of sounds, sounds like he's fun. gonna be. Like, yeah, he's gonna be like a fun love and superhero, but like yeah, love and I, superhero. <laughs> fuck! I do trust Dan Dan Mora and Mark Wade, but <laughs> but what I want more of that. <laughs> I hate him. But I, I do trust the creative team, but the description kind of sounds ant to me, but we'll see. I mean, yeah. it's not Elta June, so things can change. I also thought World's Finest sounded dumb in the beginning as well, so. And here we are, one of the best books at DC, yeah. After escaping Gotham City, 
and his criminal past aptly retired to Metropolis. The Penguin is forced back into an organized crime by the U.S. government. The Feather Felon and Gotham City will never be the same. Spinning out the pages of Batman, The Penguin, working title, will be oh, available in June with writers Tom King <laughs> and artist <laughs> Stefano Guadiano of The Walking Dead. <laughs> That definitely is not wow. the right name. No way. Probably not. Wow. It's the artist that did The Walking Dead at Tom. That's that is insane. Ten. Hey, yeah. The Walking Dead ended this You're week, wrong. by the way. You're a ten. That. An unironic ten. No, that was a joke. What's your number? Uh, three. <laughs> no, your cell phone number. Oh, uh, seven eight zero. Uh uh-huh. Two four five. Uh. Uh-huh. I should stop there. <laughs> Keep going. No, no, no. Wait, wait. I was going to actually what? do it for some reason. <laughs> I was, I was going to call it if that was the case. Can I go international? It's Maybe the biggest piece of dog. I think Penguin is an awful character in the comics, and if he wasn't getting a show on HBO Max, they would never even be making this comic. Yeah, that's true. El Rada Lada. But the only one who knows what the difference between L and La. La. <laughs> God. Uh, just in time for his 30th anniversary, John Henry Irons must bring Metropolis into the future while trusting his niece Natasha to carry the mantle of steel. Steelworks will be available in June from a talented <laughs> team that will be revealed later to this date. Only thing revealed so far is writer Joshua De, De Grazia. De Grazia? Oh my god, I'm back in high school and they're pronouncing my name wrong on the first day. And you're writing steel. Oh my, I love Natasha Irons. <laughs> What are we actually doing here? Okay, yeah. so you started off, you started off kind of strong. And now, like, I get it. Steel, Steel is a character. Maybe people want to, to see more because he's done fucking nothing for 30 years. But, like, is this is this the new wave of DC? The fucking Steelworks? Cool. It's really? <laughs> Steelworks. Like, who gives a fuck? I mean, I do like the four Superman-related titles. But, yeah, Steel, I shouldn't care less. Uh, I give it, like, a three. I will not read it. So what's your rating? Like one. Okay. I don't really care about Steel. What is Mark Wood and Dan Moore? Yo! (laughs) It's going to be, they're going to announce like Dan, they're going to announce like Dan fucking Jergens because they went went in doubt. Dan Moore of that. (laughs) And that was the last one, actually. Thank God. I'm sorry. What's our hypothesis of what could be some of the other titles? Oh, Aquaman. So you're gonna say how long it lasts? Uh, uh, <laughs> Aqu- Aquaman for sure. I think yeah. uh, I think that has to happen. If it's not, I'll be so angry. Uh, Black Canary. Be like so angry that like I'll order my double double with a little bit of attitude. Yeah, I I didn't even double, say sorry when I ordered double. it. Nice, thanks. Sorry. Uh, wait, is that a double and a double? Is that a quad? Oh, a quad quad. I don't know, like a like that. Uh, Black Canary, I'm gonna say. Okay, you can say you whatever you fucking Black want. Black Canary's gonna get a title while Green Arrow's got a title. I think yep. that's a little overboard. I do, I do. I think, th- I think all 15 of the remain to be announced are all gonna be Batman. Really? Do you seriously think that? Batman Reptilian 2, Batman <laughs> in the Dark 2, Batman, what were some of the other stuff? Fortress, Batman Fortress 2, Batman mm-hmm. Fortnite Crossover 3, uh, <laughs> Imposter. <laughs> Yeah, what Fortnite the hell? To get down, get down. Dude, this Milko is just tricky. Have a look at the brand. Gold. Oh, look at the source. <laughs> a hero That's story. Nuts. How what did I miss fuck? that? I just noticed that then. I, I shipped it out a while ago. I didn't tell you because I didn't want to like bother you or anything. What do you think? This is this is <laughs> I, look, I apologize to listeners, but like you just can't you can't get us enthusiastic or you can't get me enthusiastic. I, I think I'm dragging down the episode. If that oh, guy right. wants to message us again and be like, get this fucking guy off the show, fair enough too. This way I get him off the show. Fuck that guy. Get me off anytime, JD. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> um, I think I think an Aquaman title is definitely gonna get announced. I don't think a Black Canary title will get announced. Um Maybe another. I could. I could see them doing a third Lantern book of like just the remaining Lantern Corps. I love that, but I don't. I don't know if they I would. Think it could happen. I think a uh, second flash. I honestly think if there was time for a second flash title, now it's going to happen because Barry's back. 
Oh yeah, second Flash. Hopefully, I could see another Wonder Woman related title, like Wonder Girl or something like that. They can even just make something called like Themyscira and then go. From you know, there. it's really stupid. Yeah, we're gonna read that. Not you. <laughs> you know what is really dumb is that I re- I kind of want DC to do another like. <laughs> I kind of want them to do another big event. <laughs> Like they're hell? still doing oh, dark uh, crisis oh. <laughs> yeah, dark crisis doesn't count dark crisis isn't is nothing it they're, they're about sure. to do one the mark wade one the what's it called yeah lazarus planet lazarus planet i'll read it okay oh maybe that'll get me back into it maybe i doubt i kind of i kind of missed um this is controversial i kind of missed the days of heroes in crisis no you kind of like, no, no, no i kind of like no, the controversy i kind of that actual comic there was never Look, a time when you read that comic where you're like, this is quality shit. Yeah, you're no, just reading but, a lot but, of comics at the time. Right. No, but I was looking forward to it every time because I'm like, what are they going to do next? I kind of like the controversy. There was right. shit to Look talk about. Guy. You want him to die? Okay, I kind of do now, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, he was, man. Uh, for audio listeners, he was holding up a picture of Hunter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> I should I should print out a picture of Hunter and put it behind my desk. So I was like, gonna do that. Uh, what, what's behind <laughs> mine? No. Oh, there's this. Oh boy. What is that? Perfume. Perfume. Oh, there's this. More perfume. <laughs> oh, Harper, you trying to smell good? It's perfume. <laughs> wow. Got a lot of perfume. There's a lot of perfume. <laughs> oh, that's I'm Joker the Joker from, from a death in the family. Yeah, was that part? Was that DC family. part part of news? Uh yep. Or was it? Yep, and okay. we just finished news with that. Walking Dead ended. Did you guys see the end? No. See what's uh, going on. I stopped season seven. I think. I stopped you... when they left the prison. Do you get whoa? Well, dude, there's at least two good seasons after no, that before it ends no. up. Yes, it's there is like, absolutely. After, after that, it was like all like dark shots and like blurry cameras, and then like <clears> you'd <throat> wait nah, man, 45 nah. minutes for nothing to happen, and then there'd be a cliffhanger at the end. No, nah, season missed, five um, was actually the, <laughs> so when there's a there's a scene, JD, that you missed that's not funny, but I laughed way too hard when I saw it. It's when they go to a safe haven. It's a safe area, it's a neighborhood with walls around. And sanctuary. they get in. I think it's sanctuary. It's been a while. What do you mean you think I'm telling you it is? Yeah, but uh, it's not the cannibal place. Alex- no, place Alexandria. Alexandria. Yes, yes, that is it. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, sanctuary is the saviors. Yeah. So they get there and they're just like, well, de- we'll go with Diana. She'll help you guys out. And Abraham mm. goes like, who's Diana? And I like mm. choked on my drink because I was yeah. drinking when that happened, which made me who's laugh Diana? even harder. Because it sounds like he has like a chicken leg. He's like, who's Diana? Diana. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, Abraham was good. Yeah. He was such a good character. He who's was. Dude. He, he got his <laughs> head caved in. JD, there's some good seasons after where you're up to. But no, um, anyway. Think, I don't think there are. You, there are. Season five is lit. I season six is okay. Season seven yeah. is fine. <laughs> I, uh, I what, what's your, source on, what's your source on that? Um, Your mom, actually. Actually, oh, your mum, yeah. Actually, she in- has watched all of it, so that could be. A- <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did she watch yes. the finale? Yeah. Factual and funny. She said, uh, "I actually asked my mom. I was like, hey, ma, what do you think of uh, you know the Walking Dead finale?'" And she said, "It's the biggest piece of dog piece shit. of dog shit. <laughs> God damn it." <laughs> okay. Do Do you want to Do you want to know my thoughts? And do you want to know some some spoilers? Do you care? I don't. I have one question. Yes. Did you just watch the finale, or have you watched every episode? So in the finale, right? <laughs> so I don't know if you like, guys remember. You in, gave in up. Season, in season five, episode 10, there's this part where Rick tells this really sort of amazing oh, story. Hold on, hold on, sort before, of sh- you, before you continue, before you continue. If you're watching The Walking Dead and you don't want spoilers, skip ahead. How long I do you think? I did say spoilers. I, said I know, spoilers. but like, how long do you think you'll talk about this for? Two minutes. Two minutes. Skip two minutes, exactly. How do I skip two minutes of listening to this? Uh, I'm going to sing the entirety of Never Gonna Give You Up after it. So if you hear that by skipping forward, you'll know that we're past And go. Okay, so you know how Rick made like this really passionate speech in season five of episode 10, where it was him talking about his grandfather and he asked his grandfather about the war and his grandfather wouldn't talk about it and stuff. And then when his grandfather did, it was how he, he told him that like, 
as soon as he stepped on the battlefield in World War II, he considered himself dead and he fought the whole war, waking up every morning going, well, rest in peace, but now it's time to get back to the battle. And then Rick goes, yeah, and then Rick goes, that's us. We live because we are the walking dead. This episode did a very similar thing, except Daryl goes, um, no, we, we can't lock these people out. We ain't the walking dead. And I was like, oh, man, come on. Anyway, uh, Rick showed up at the end for like 30 seconds and it was pretty fucking lit. And I'm very excited for the spinoff show with uh, Rick and Michonne. That's probably the only do? thing I give a fuck about. Uh, he's locked on like this fucking island and they're keeping him there. And that's why he hasn't been able to show up. So he's trying to escape and he stabs a zombie in the head and then he makes a grisly kind of face like this and then he smirks up and then that's sort of the end of the show but oh, it's, he's so back he's back he's back it's interesting that they're actually doing something with the character i thought he'd just like appear be like hey and then that'd be no it. no they're actually it was like, all... they set up a story it's total setup for this spin-off and i'm kind of excited that it's just you I know a six episode miniseries out. so yeah, i actually it... the last episode of walking dead i watched was his last episode so yes, same no legit the same so it's like <laughs> i'm still continuing episode. with <laughs> the walking dead i'm just i'm following rick i'm not following and his last episode was good so. where he's just like i found him and then he blows up the bridge i was like yeah you found them rick you found your family bro good mm-hmm. shit um but uh yeah i'm excited because like what's the biggest problem with the walking dead the fact that it's like 16 episodes it's way too long make the seasons shorter this is going to be a high budget mini series and it's they only could... six episodes oh disney plus not disney plus no disney plus but no not disney plus but hey you know it's amc they made better call time so. cool thank god that's my yeah, alarm sorry. going off oh there you go well legit it can you hear it that perfectly no i can't hear a fucking thing oh okay well audio listeners sure can <laughs> it oh, really? kind of mutes it but yeah jesus christ okay what is it oh. uh it's the intro to skyrim when the guy's like hey you you're finally awake you're trying to cross oh the my right? god <laughs> <laughs> That's actually it. That's how I wake up every morning. Like, yeah. hey. Well, anyway, the the <laughs> Walking Dead. I'm looking forward to some of the stuff in the future, even though I didn't really like the Negan and Shaggy show. Kind of, yeah. I love Negan. That sounds so dumb to me. I mean, I don't know why it's a Negan and Maggie, but I'm kind of excited. I'm actually more excited. <laughs> I don't for the know Darryl why there's spin-off. a woman involved. <laughs> I, I, no, but no, but I think three spinoffs is like the death of the franchise because, like, you're not gonna keep up. With well, I think I think it really Dead should just be. Happening? Okay, but here's the thing. Why the fuck would you have... Yes, it is, and I don't know why. Um, but why the fuck would you do the Daryl spinoff and then the Negan and Maggie spinoff? Do a Daryl and Negan spinoff. They're the most right. interesting part about everything And just have up. Maggie in it, yeah. Like, what is the Daryl show? Like, Because Carol, Carol is not going to be in the Daryl show, which is a weird sentence to say. And I'm thankful for that because I think Carol should have died like four seasons ago, but whatever. Captain yeah, Marvel's so new. Like, I mean, okay, not that I new, just but... don't like her haircut and endgame. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I don't know what they're going to add to <laughs> add to the Daryl show to make it interesting. Like, it's just going to be Daryl? Like, I, I guess. Okay, cool. I'm going to give you up. You up. Never <laughs> going to let go. you down. The amount of times uh, the Harper's Rick rolled me in the last like a month uh, is yeah. astonishing. Yeah. We had a good conversation. <laughs> you can't keep about getting that. away with this. You can't keep getting away. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Fuck. All right. Uh, that, that is news of the week. So now, comics. Oh, and or episode 12 was fucking lit. <laughs> oh, no. it was amazing. Comic you want to hear our Star Wars thoughts? Comic Go Sorry. check out Star Wars episode 10. Yeah. Hear Wars. a story, Star Wars story, story out now. Speaking of Star Wars, I'm up to date on Darth Vader. I haven't got a lot to say, but fuck, it's good. Oh, like the current run? You, you read it on Marvel yep. Unlimited? Like the... I read up to everything I could on Marvel Unlimited, and then I outsourced the rest on not Marvel Unlimited. You're hard to be a pirate. Where did I get it from? Where did I get it from? You know, only, only God knows. What do you mean Was by that? Marge Simpson what do you, uh, what at do you mean the top? Marge Simpson at the top. No, I can make <laughs> my website. background Marge Simpson again. No, please, yeah, no, yeah, no. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Lost episode, right? Sorry, I won't do that. Um, yeah, good shit. I told I told these fuckers in in our group chat. I I'm talking to the audience now. Hi, audience. I told these guys in the group chat that they did an entire issue focusing on Darth Vader, basically uh, fighting through a sandstorm, and then flashing back to him as young little Anakin fighting through a sandstorm with Shmi Skywalker. And it somehow made me feel something for the worst line in Star Wars. 
which is uh, Arbor I hate it's style course, bro. Review. Dude, yes. <laughs> what are you doing about? Second. So of course, dude. Are you serious? Padme episode one. You know, like you know what what Vader does to uh, well, <laughs> you know what you know what Vader does to you know what Vader does to those rebels in the hallway in Rogue One. Yeah, that's what I'd be doing to Shmi. Wow, just Executed smashing that shit up. Them? Just you gonna have <laughs> just destroy. Yeah, I mean, do you remember the guy that she married, like- Hunter? You could have made that way worse by going, "What she's saying, help us!" Like, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The plan. Take it. Take it. (laughs) Uh, What other comics? (laughs) I'm up to date on. I'm up to. Yeah, Daredevil. Are you up to date? What? On Daredevil? No, that's not what I was going to (laughs) say. Oh, oh, sorry. Well, what are you up to date on? I'm up to date. I've finally caught up like four issues of um, of Strange, of the clear run. Of the clear. Is that good? Oh, it's fucking awesome. Why did you read fucked. it? The reason just, you weren't reading it. I wasn't like, oh, reading. It's not good. <laughs> I wasn't reading. Because the first two issues, I was like, all right, okay, okay. And then I'm like, oh, I'm really digging this. And the more it goes, the more I'm digging it. Like, like Wong got a whole issue. And I was like, fuck, dude, give this guy his own book. Like, it's so good. I think uh, the thing that roped me back into it was finding out the identity of, like, the main anti-hero character and then i'm like oh that's what this series is going to be it's not going to be just clear fighting people for the for the fuck of it there's there's more going on here which i can elaborate on if you want me to or we can not talk about sure, it. yeah no i i'd like to know okay. okay all right okay stephen strange died um stabbed it in the heart got his hands chopped off uh stephen strange then uh came back to life then he died again he blew up and then the Stephen street. Strange came back by taking over Caecilius's body, uh, and then he died again. <laughs> so Clea Strange is the Sorcerer Supreme, and her entire yeah. goal is resurrecting Stephen Strange, her love, her beloved. And I'm, I like that the last few years they've really committed to these guys are, are Peter and MJ. Like the, it's these guys, that's it. And I like that the MCU. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, In the sense mean, that's like, just a funny comparison. <laughs> so yeah, okay. I should have said like Linda Park and Wally West. Like, really, yeah, space and Lois. time. These Super guys are, are gonna. Yeah, maybe not because fucking yeah. Isn't Mary Jane fucking some random guy in this New Zealand world's run? Doesn't matter. Yeah, regardless, is. whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure Peter's totally fine with that. That wouldn't upset him at all. Um, anyway. Uh, yes, so Clea's entire endeavor is that she's like, yeah, I'll be the Sorcerer Supreme, but I I want to get Stephen back. And there's also this group called the Blasphemy Cartel, which are a group of like SWAT, SWAT member gang, magical, tactical suited military people who are attacking uh, places of magical power. And so she's having to deal with that as well. But on top of that, dead superheroes keep coming back to life. Uh, like who? Like, who? And, uh, like Thunderstrike, your favorite. Like uh, Midnight Man, Moon Knight's brother. Oh wait, what? Wait, hold on, yeah. hold on. Hunter's Moon? Hunter's uh, Moon, whatever, uh, whatever. It is. I don't know. He's in this. It's his. It's his brother. Whatever. The yeah, brother yeah. Is. That's Hunter's Moon. He is died like Moon? he died like two months ago. Yes. Well, they brought him back. He's not actually alive. He's a zombie. They're all zombies. Yeah, but like uh, he Goliath. literally just died. That's why. Yeah. I'm like, well, he Whoa. literally just came back as a zombie and then died again. Um, Goliath. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Goliath. Yes. Um. Thunderstrike was interesting because you see him alive at the start of the issue and then he gets possessed and fucking dies. But anyway, ghosts are leaking out from the afterlife. They're possessing. Okay, they actually explain it in an interesting way because Clea is like, why aren't we just seeing normal people come back? Um, what? And like, so, so what? Um, Clea's like, why aren't we seeing just normal people appear back in the in the real realm, but like possessed by these ghosts? And then it's explained to her the harvest man this masked figure explains to her that like you know they they latch on to these costumed identities because they're notable and all the ghosts like inhabit them and then bring them back into the real world because that's much easier than just picking a regular person and possessing one of them and trying to escape the afterlife so they kind of set it up it's interesting but um death who we have not seen has enlisted this person called the harvest man as her i guess yeah death is a her in the marvel universe Oh, it's like Lady Death. Um, I, don't, I don't know. We haven't seen her. I just assumed oh. that it's a her. That's all I'm getting at. Um, 
has has brought on board the Harvestman as you know death's sorcerer supreme um which is just a fancy way of being the skeleton person who has the scythe so they're this really cool looking character who has a scythe a golden mask and they're going up against clear and they're trying to slice up um there we go here's an image hopefully you can see it for the for the video people that watch the youtube channel that's the harvestman looks very okay. cool yeah um he has a scythe and blah blah but blah damn, he's yeah whoa yeah you fuck that's tony stark um <laughs> he um so he's working for the for for death and taking out all these costumed superhero um zombie people um all the while clear is going can i please bring back uh steven strange back to life and the harvestman is like you are absolutely not going to fucking do that because that's the whole thing that we're not trying to do here we're trying to not let that happen and then so on and so forth uh i believe it's moon knight that actually actually i might even find the dialogue and read it to you hunter because you might appreciate this let me just vamp while I'm finding it. But anyway, there's only seven issues out so far, and it's really fucking good. The, the sounds are really good. The <laughs> fifth is issue, ongoing? yeah, the fifth ongoing. issue um has um is the fifth issue Moon Knight? No, it's the fourth issue that has Moon Knight and Hunter's Moon or, or whatever. The, what's his called? Hunter's Moon. I'll it's one with it just the here. circle on the head, right? No, uh, it says Shadow Knight. Apparently, wait, <laughs> so what? I don't, know what sh- I don't know what Shadow Knight is. Is, does he have like his mask has just the circle on the head? Uh, he looks like he looks like a zombified Moon Knight. It's like a Moon Knight suit, but he's got a gaping open mouth and teeth. But in the yeah. next issue, they call like she's with Mark Spector and she calls, she's like, Oh, and I just killed your brother. Oh, and he does say his name. I'll find the fucking name for Here, you. Here, God, Harper, I'm sending you a picture. Does he look like this? Ooh. Randall. His name is Randall think that's no okay well that's um is well, that's his brother's name he does not look anything like that hunter sorry <laughs> Who the- she says she says before we start i should mention um i'm told the undead creature I, I destroyed yesterday was your brother is that going to be a problem and then mr knight says randall's been killed again looks like that's two favors i owe you so uh biggest moon knight the fan does doesn't fucking know moon knight's brother so it's crazy Shocker. randall Shock specter in. Yep. Oh, oh, oh this now? guy. My bad. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I know. I know. I know. I just, I've read every of yours. <laughs> um. So, so Moon Knight says this to Clear. They go on sort of a mission, and and Moon Knight wants, uh, Clear wants Moon Knight's help with solving all these like ghosts and who the Harvestman is and stuff like that. And then Mark Spector says this. For what it's worth, when we're talking about coming back from the dead, my experience is this. You need someone with the power and influence to do it, the kind of power and influence a god has. And even then, they're only doing it so you'll work for them. Strange would be a good get for a god or any other power with serious influence or pull. But who would be powerful enough to get a former Sorcerer Supreme to work for them? And then Clea says, there is only one I can think of, which is then the end of issue five i believe we get the reveal that he's back the yeah, man behind yeah, the sure. man you saw it because i posted it in the group chat yes no um, i saw it because the cover's like his hand coming off the ground yeah but that's not yes okay technically but that's not what the well yes but technically no <laughs> that's that's nothing to do with the issue but yes it is yeah he's back well, that's hair. cool mm-hmm. so dr strange with white hair yeah um and he's the harvestman and that's far more interesting to me than just clear fighting random people because now uh in the seventh issue which came out only what, a couple of weeks ago now they've reunited but because she is the sorcerer supreme and has all this positive life magic and shit and he is the sorcerer supreme of death uh they can't touch each other or like their magic will fucking implode the universe so just now they're medium. trying to work together to figure some shit out yeah just like you and i yeah, that's odd. So that was a long-winded explanation of why Strange is a good fucking book and you should read it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, you, you, I think you think you got me, man. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it's not good. Don't read it. it oh, sucks. okay. It's so okay. bad. Yeah, no, well, no, no. At least Hunter, read the Marvel Limited issues and make up your mind. There. Hunter, you'll hate it. Hunter, you'll hate it so bad. You'll hate it so bad and you'll never want to read comics again. Please don't read it. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. I won't. No, nah, it's good. I mean, it's Hunter, you haven't, but, been burned out. you haven't been burned out by comics in a while. No, I'm in. I really like comics right now. I'm, I mean, yeah. November is going to be my least read month because all you read is Marvel nowadays. I'm kind of like sad. 
I'm I used to be a DC guy. I know, but Marvel Unlimited. Are, are you getting DC Universe? Yes. Yeah. And I was baby. gonna read uh Cassandra Kane's Batgirl run first. Because that's on there. If you're a Cassandra Kane fan, you could finally solidify that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was gonna read that. I was planning on reading some Superman stuff and uh some like the Batman comments the Tower is recommending me on a Hero Story episode 200, I think it was. But yeah. I see uh, this panel my, to Hunter. Those are like my only because plans, I, though. I knew Hunter would like this. It's it's Mark Spector in, in this issue of Strange. And he says, I don't have magic powers, clear. To which I sent Hunter just all the pictures from Moon Knight where he's fucking, where he's flying and then where he's getting stabbed Yo, that multiple was so cool times when by Moon people. That. Dude, I love his superpowers. I love Moon Knight's superpowers. <laughs> he rips those out and they just heal faster. Yeah, and just Wolverine. heals instantly. Yeah, as soon as I saw that, I thought of Hunter. Hunter literally punched a hole in his wall when that happened. Mm-hmm. But you'll actually love this. Oh, geez. Oh, there is a very tiny. Wow, you got small baby fists. That's Hunter, not, I think that's not a fist that's removing my desk. <laughs> All right, whatever. Hunter, um, I think you'll like this line. Is <laughs> Clea goes, okay, I think he get he gets the idea. We can go to work. And then Moon Knight says, no, sorry. Moon Knight says, okay, I think he gets the idea. Now we can go to work. Clea goes, what idea? And then Moon Knight goes, I don't have magic powers, Clea. So I have to scare them. And Clea says, who? And Moon Knight goes, everyone. I was like, damn, he's Batman. (laughs) He's Batman as fuck. (laughs) That is a very Batman line, actually. Yeah, good shit. I also have this picture on my phone. I don't know why. I don't even really know what the source of it is, but it's the rock looking like that. I don't really. Like, what is that face he's making? <laughs> anyway. Uh, Daredevil is pretty interesting. So We're going to war. I thought this issue was okay. Matt and Electra, they're in wherever they're hiding out <laughs> for, uh, for taking on the opportunity for leading the Fist, their new ninja clan mm-hmm. with Foggy and and police officer Cole on the team. Why the fuck does <laughs> do they give like foggy like powers? So th- uh, that's explained. Did you, did you not read the explanation for that? I still think it's dumb. So they like, they I'm reenacted saying, like, they a wedding ceremony, an ancient wedding ceremony. That because of it, everyone in the area got powers, including it's foggy. Dumb. So now they have powers when they're together. I believe it said when they're together. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I assume that it was this week. <laughs> they could jump higher, they have better like enhanced strength. They're, they got Captain America's powers essentially. So I just like enhanced, including Falky Nelson, <laughs> so, which is kind of funny. Um, with this Harbor, power, Harbor, back me up here. You don't like this. Sounds dumb as fuck. Thank you. With this power, they go to the raft, they go to the prison in the ocean, and they, they go inside and they basically go on the daredevil goes on the intercom and unlocks all the gates and he's just like all right you're all criminals you can run here or you come with us and fight for something and again dumb. top three foggy nelson powers these powers cancer a third one wow <laughs> jesus uh, when he was in leapfrog <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah he was in the leapfrog thing he yeah yeah up, or they faked him blowing <laughs> yeah exactly um, they grab some criminals, including Stiltman, one of them. Fuck yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's like, it, it, it feels weird to me. Like, I get that Daredevil's going down a bad path, but like the villains in the raft, I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're definitely, he's definitely going down a bad path, and he purposely leaves the camera on and looks directly into the cameras and kind of smirks as they leave. So then the event, I believe the exact quote he said was, I'll have more of that. Oh. <laughs> I believe that was he said one. that, and then he was specifically doing that so the Avengers would see. So then the end of the issue is Tony and Steve being like, Okay, we have to take Daredevil in. But, yeah. but um, the, the scene with US Agent was that also not a little weird? No, I'm not obviously like, I don't know what US Agent does in the comics now. Wait, 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 wait. what did you call him, JD? US Agent. Oh, I always thought it was us agent. Oh, it's a comic. <laughs> it's like such John a John Walker. Thing. I thought it was. <laughs> was that not a weird scene with him like he's like full-on like fascist uh like i have to take you down i don't know like he was writ- written very one-dimensionally well, john walker yeah like i thought he wasn't like that anymore i thought that was like when he first appeared he was like that but like now he's like normal 
No, he's still pretty mean. <laughs> no, he's normal. <laughs> the, the the greatest line of this whole comic is when uh he like offers him like redemption with God and then he says, uh Yeah. He says, Don't need don't need saving. I'm right with God. And then Daredevil says, If you were, turns out the lights, he wouldn't have sent the devil. And then sent the devil, yeah that, that, too, yeah. that that line uh that line made me uh goes then, hard. Oh yeah, definitely. I was like you know, the same would have made you. You just say it, it was a good line. I was like, Woo! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. More critical. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, here, here we, we go. go. Look at that hair. Need a hair hey, this is more cringe than a. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Woo! baby. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're all about. Woo! He's here pulling goes. his cloak out. <laughs> Hal Jordan when he sees a ten-year-old. Alien. Oh man, Nelson. Jesus <laughs> Christ, JD. We need Fun. to talk. Yeah, guys, we need to talk. Um, so, <laughs> Foggy Nelson was pretty cringe how he is. It was pretty uh, cringe. Powers. <laughs> I just thought like the first couple episodes were okay, and then She, oh, she Hulk a immediately shirt. was like so cringe. <laughs> wearing a white so- shirt, I could actually. Be- oh, he is. Oh my God, you've even got the angle and everything too. Hold God on, damn. Hold on. So it comes moist. Harper, you know how you talk about like how Chip Zdarsky like, kind of retreads on like stories that have already been told? Yes. I feel like he's kind of doing it here, like Daredevil versus like the Avengers. <clears throat> I feel like he's yeah. been like, done with death. I mean, it when has, has been, done. been done. They literally like, did. It's like, born I saw, again. I saw, I saw someone literally say this is Shadowland 2.0. <laughs> Shadowland, yeah, exactly. They're making the, Shadowland good. Yeah, that's really funny that Hunter, you went. When has he ever faced the Avengers? The biggest Daredevil story, I guess. <laughs> it's not a fight, but it's a it's a moral debate. I guess. <laughs> um, um, I still enjoyed it. Like, I obviously understand that it's a little I, bit. I'm, I'm just. I'm kind of seeing more of like every time I read a Chip Zdarsky story now, I'm kind of getting more of Harper's thread of like he kind of just does stories that have. I mean, he's still, he's done that his entire. He's I still think he's a great entire. writer and all that, but like now I'm kind of seeing it. His most his most original story, ironically, is Devil's Reign, which is funny yeah. to think about because it's just an event. But like, right? Yeah, I mean, this is I mean, this has shades of of of, of Dead Devil being the kingpin of New York. Like, right? It's that exact same path. He grows out the facial hair. He goes bad. Heroes show up and go, "We disagree with your method," and then he's just like. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> anyway, uh, JD, should I buy a second Daredevil hot toy? It's only four hundred dollars. Um, no. Good answer. Okay, I think I might. You already have like fifty hours. <laughs> Until you told me to do it. I know, which I'm, I'm glad that JD's like against it. So, devil and angel on your shoulder, kind of thing. Hmm. Daredevil and uh, angel from X Men on your shoulder. That's hot. That's hot. You seen this shit? That, that the panel nice. of Doctor Strange that you just showed this is, is a as, this is a panel of Doctor Strange. I would say it's actually not as cringe. It's not Multiverse cringe. of Madness, however, was relatively cringe. No, I enjoy Multiverse. Multiverse of Madness was as hot as the comment sections in R slash Ask Me Anything on the NSFW post. God damn, that was really good. That's exactly what he does. Some elaborate. He always does like an explanation of something involving Reddit. <laughs> Look at this shit. Are you guys seeing this shit? See this fucking book? We bro? can make a Look video of like a hero story reactions, like how you know how they have like the rating things, and it's like the it's the biggest piece of dog shit. The woo. We can make that with me and yeah. Hunter, where it's you saying it's the it's uh, the woo, and yeah. me doing it's the biggest piece of dog shit. We could, we, and we then Harper being like, he's the goat. Yeah, that book looks pretty good. Um, didn't get him nominated for Game of the Year, which I think is pretty cringe, but I still think the book has a lot of potential. <laughs> I wonder what Moist Critical would think of soups. <laughs> That's a video I want to say. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Hey, guys. Uh... <laughs> hey, <hold on>. uh, <laughs> soups came out on. with a video recently that's pretty cringe. <laughs> I've never heard of him up until this thing where... Uh, Coffeezilla sent me this video of this 12-year-old <laughs> boy talking about how his manager was just a real cringy guy, which I think is pretty cringe in general. Just about as cringe as the people commenting on r slash funny from last week. When you when you search on the top, top results on the Reddit page, you see a lot of videos of Soups trying to apologize, but, you know, YouTube apologies, they're 
they're very cringe mostly, but I have a soft spot for them. I, I kind of rank his kind of like a B tier apology because although he's not apologizing it, it's still cringe enough to so you can watch it. Anyways, that's about it. See ya. <laughs> well done, Hunter. That is that is round of applause worthy. That was fucking I, incredible. I actually watched Voice Critical, so <laughs> I watch a couple of his videos. I'm not like a like a super fan. I watch him sometimes, but fuck me, that, that was video everything will be about titled it. like. When pre- you said Coffeezilla sent me, I don't even know who that is, but I know he says that shit, and I'm just <laughs> spot he all on. All random shit. YouTubers. That video will be oh, uploaded God. with absolutely no thumbnail or description. The title will be like cringy YouTube apology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> huge, huge drama from Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> just stare, you just stare at the camera with like no emotion. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. God, that was fuck man. He always ends really with like good. anyways, that's about it. See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> that was really, good. really good. Holy Thank you. Shit. That's my one impression that I could confidently do because I kind of look like that's him right. as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, definitely. JD, you do good. one. <laughs> He's pulling his cog out. <laughs> oh, look. oh, I thought you were gonna do like I'll make you an uh, offer you can't refuse. Of the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> yeah, Hunter, can you do that? <laughs> the, the can you say Nick scene? Wilde? <laughs> you come to me unannounced on the day my daughter's to be wedded, Nick Wilde. I trust the you. <laughs> Are you excited for that Zootopia short? I think it's already out. I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Have you watched it? Uh, Can that be the Hero Story watch party? <laughs> it's gonna be short, right? <laughs> That's what we could record Hang over on. the weekend. I think it's only six Hang minutes. <laughs> That's what we could record over the weekend. <laughs> Tomorrow? Damn. Yeah? Sure. I'll do it. I hear a Hero Story watch party for the Zootopia <laughs> Godfather <laughs> short. Doing that and I am Groot. <laughs> I, I watched I am well. Groot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I actually yeah, the, still have the, not watched The Godfather it. of the Bride, 10 minutes. 10 it's minutes? Probably like, it's probably less with credits, but... That's a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, Zootopia Plus. Jeez. I'll watch it. That sounds hilarious. What a random fucking thing to... <laughs> I don't want to edit it, though. <laughs> Send me the footage. I'll edit it. No, it's I'm just okay. saying because it's Disney, so... Copyright. Like, like, oh, true, true. You have true, to true. find a way to get around it. Mm, you gotta like make it like backwards, true. like mirrored with like a dark screen over it. Yeah, you had to put like a property by like owned by Disney or something like yeah. that. We'll, we'll make like my head Mickey Mouse. <laughs> we had to put a voice like a voice oh, filter oh. over it, so it's just like that the whole time. I have a feeling that watching this, there'd be so many Godfather references that you would get, JD. You're not going to get. <laughs> I wouldn't get it at all. No, you weren't. You're going to be like, this is genius. And you're going to be like, this is the biggest piece of dog shit. I actually like, think his you wife was how old? <laughs> I didn't say, I don't get it. I don't get the reference. Uh, I didn't get it until JD told me. <laughs> and then I went, Ugh. oh, yeah, the Italian thing. Right. Yeah, Michael's wife in Italy. I'm, I'm pretty yeah, sure I got to look It's pretty oof. cringe. That's pretty. That is that is pretty cringe. I agree. That's pretty cringe. Coffeezilla said it to him. <laughs> oh, I was wondering, hey, Coffeezilla, why'd you send me? Coffeezilla is like a stocks YouTuber. He he like finds people scamming stocks and he'll like oh. shut them down. It's very much something that only Moist Critical would like. Yeah, really be into like, 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 <laughs> like something that he would watch. Yeah. Harper, I uh, I finally read the last issue of Rogues, the the Black Label series. Oh, and you know fuck, what? I forgot. I mean, it came out like a month ago, but I finally read it. And yeah. it, it was actually really good. I really like the ending. I think you'd like the series. Fuck, it is a like series right up my alley. Because like the rogues, I wouldn't usually give a fuck about in that single capacity. Because I'm like every good solo rogue story was already told by like Mark Wade and Jeff Johns. Right. But then I'm like, ah, oh, Captain Cold is saying fuck, and I like that. Captain Cold, <laughs> saying, Captain Cold is saying fuck. He's like blasting brains out on panel. Yeah, and like I, he's like let's rob Gorilla Grodd, that fucking hairy bastard. It's also Williamson, isn't it? <laughs> Williamson. It is. But it yeah, see, I like, like... It doesn't feel like Williamson writing. That's what I like, though. I kind of like Williamson being able to go outside of the confines of PG, DC. The only thing that I will say feels like Williamson is in, I think, the fourth issue, he makes it like five monkey puns in a row. Mm-hmm. Like, he's like, uh, we threw a monkey wrench into that one. 
Oh, you uh, know what happens when you get the monkey's paw? You don't know like what you. Wish I want for. more of that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think you would really enjoy Rogue. Is at any point Captain Cole go? That it's okay, guys. We'll use the science. No. No. Oh, okay, that's we'll disappointing. The, we'll use the ice. No, mm. he just has like fuck them kids and then like go blast like a kid. Oh, Hal Jordan. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh, no, Doctor no, well, Strange. There's a, there, there's a comma when uh, you know in that sentence. Are, are, um, are you going with Doctor Strange or? Oh, I was actually going to talk about Doctor Strange. Do you want me to? I mean, for for me, like the only comments that came out were Spider-Man: Defenders Beyond. But my due to Rhodes being about as hot as Wally West and Linda Park <laughs> were recently, judging by Linda Park's recent appearance, my roads have been pretty bad because it's pretty cold at night, so it makes the roads freeze up and it's hard to drive. <laughs> That's about it. So yeah, my comments were delayed, so I only was able to read one. <laughs> and you also didn't know this was coming out, so <laughs> so what? This was wedding out. Oh <laughs> god damn! I can't even. Ah! <laughs> we have bad jokes here. Fuck me. Yeah, we are falling apart. Tyler's gonna listen to this and be like, "What the fuck were I you guys like, oh, doing this week?" That was, that was a pretty good Tyler. That was a pretty good Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't see Tyler listening to this unless. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Leafy here. Uh, anyway, what you, sorry. What are we doing? He's Dr. Strange. Oh, right, Strange. Strange, Full Sunrise, which was, um, this This is by Tradmore. Uh, is this what made you want to start reading again, by the way? Like, is this the book? No, it was actually clear as Strange that made oh, me go. Cause, cause, like, you haven't read comics in, like, months, and now all of a sudden you're back. Yeah, I was just, I don't know, something twinged in me and i was like actually man i'm kind of interested that sounds kind of interesting I, feel um, I like these things yeah yeah exactly i, I read i refound the passion oh i can like things cool um so this series uh the description if you read it on various websites said tradmore is tasked with the with the with bringing Stephen Strange back to the Marvel Universe after his death in Death of Doctor Strange which is not true that's not what this story is about at all and it doesn't even tie into it and i'm not even sure that it's it might not be canon. I'm not sure. Um, more on that later. More on that later. Like it's a fucking news report. <laughs> more on that coming at six. Like, anyway. Mora? This this book. <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, I want more of that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut together all of me saying I want more. Of that. Oh, <laughs> fuck, it's all get, like less less excited about it. Oh. Hey guys, look. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the book opens. Doctor Strange is floating next to a, a little ghost thing, and he's like, "Am I dead? Is what going on?" Blah 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 blah. And then he wakes up, and he's like, "No, I'm Doctor Strange. I am alive, and I have been tasked with a mission." We don't really know what that mission is. It's very vague, but it's basically Doctor Strange traveling across this very weird mystical wonderland. Um, and he ends up at a city, and he gets his ass kicked, and that's kind of the whole spot, issue. Right? So, right. It's it, like that description is 10 seconds long. Weird mystical land. Doctor Strange rocks up at a city, gets his ass kicked to be continued. This is like the fucking best thing I've ever read. It's so fucking good. And it's not just like a pretty like, oh, this is really pretty, but it looks, you know, and that that's the whole point is that it looks good. But the writing is so weird but it makes total sense like it's the kind of shit that when i've said on the podcast before why don't they make comic books that are like one-off like really like special kind of shit this is what i'm fucking talking about it's so good well it's only four issues but like oh you know it's it's, a a mini mini series it sounds like a silver surfer black Oh, yeah, by the same that, fucking creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, really. It sound like I'm just Trent saying, like it, it's the same vibes too. Very so. astute fucking opinion. I'll tell you what, Revenge of the Fallen feels a lot like Transformers 2007. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Why was that, that <laughs> Well, it's by the same fucking guy, isn't I it? Know, but just... In the same universe. <laughs> Transformer. You could have said anything. You went to transform. I could have said anything. Do, do you want me to say anything else? Yeah, one more different example. Okay, it feels like Bumblebee and Revenge of the. <laughs> Why are you going? Because <laughs> I, just... <laughs> I thought it was funny. Okay. Don't you work for Hasbro? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, I just want to read this one page because I remember reading it and going, "Oh my god, that is so beautifully written." And also, Hunter will be so confused by this. So let me read. Oh yeah. Let me read this. And this is what I mean when the, when I say the writing is not like generic. It's it's very 
it's very artsy, but it's not wanky artsy where you go, oh my God, you're saying a whole lot of nothing by saying something. Right. Anyway, this is Dr. Strange narration. Moments and years, where went the difference? Which unit measures life once she takes time away from me? Thought turns to naught, but one foot, now the other. Survival perfunctory, my function is walking. Held by the hand, she guides me forever. While I'm lost in a reverie, can I stay? So fucking, it's so ghosty, so poetic. I know, it's so fucking good. There's like this poem that's like written through it. Um, uh, It's kind of like... Um, Silver it, it Surfer kind of has shade, huh? Silver Surfer Black. That's not what I was going to say. It's kind of go. got shades of um, what what disturbs you, Stephen. It's kind of got those kind of right. like poemy sort the of overarching things. there, the overarching like. Uh, yeah, you remember narrative? at the end. You remember at, at the end of that where Doctor Strange is falling through the nothingness, and it says, "I hear the death throes of Dictopolis," and I wonder, yeah. like, what is it that? Yeah, like that's sort of got this sort of stuff woven through. Like, there's this poem. It's like the day that is seven, when seven sun be red, seven bells are to toll, kill the firstborn dead. Da 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 to kill your firstborn dead. Da 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 to kill her firstborn dead. What the Ooh. fuck? <laughs> God damn, Dude, this babe. shit is this shit is absolute heat. It is yeah. absolute heat. It's so good. Wow. Like this. Oh my god. I'm, I'm what, sorry. What, I keep. What, what I'm, I'm literally. You don't think Hunter knows, by the way. Uh, perfunctory. Yeah. <laughs> he just silently oh. nods. There was one. Um. There's one where he says. Um. Uh. He he, he says like. An action or gesture carried out with a minimum of effort or reflection thanks Eric. thanks there you go. <laughs> <laughs> i was so confused i just like i heard and i was like oh he's fucking doing siri isn't he <laughs> um there was one where like dr strange said is like he he feels as though like something something is a sieve and i'm like i'd be curious to see if hunter knows what a sieve is it's like a i know what that is <laughs> go on go on what is it it's the things that okay it could be like a toothbrush. It could be like a comb. You, prisoners what? hide it, and then once it's a shiv. I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. God, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> God damn. I'm joking. What is a sieve then? Uh, it's a. It's a. It's like a cut. It's a what? wound. It's a wound. No. Oh, my sieve. <laughs> Just answer the fucking question. Do you know or not? <laughs> Do not know. Are you yeah, serious? Yeah, okay. I oh, muted his microphone. He's very funny. He's very funny. He's, I do yeah. appreciate that. You're that. I, I'll give you that. You are very funny. But do you seriously know, not know? Have you ever heard like the phrase, my head is like a sieve? I've got a head like a sieve. No. Is it a fruit? No, a sieve is like the strainer, like you strain vegetables in and then water comes at the bottom. It's like a sieve. So when people no. say they've got a head like a sieve, it means information comes in and just drains it out. Does it look like a... So, so would you say Hunter has a head like a sieve? <laughs> yeah. He's, a, yeah. he's got a head like Rate a sieve. Rate my head. Rate my head. <laughs> wow, dude. Out of context, I mean, you're just... Oof, jeez. Yeah, I messed up there. I messed what up. did he do? That, oh! What he said. <laughs> Yo! Yeah. Sorry. Oh my god. I'm usually the person that. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rate right his head. Up. I meant like shit, the shape. Shit be gripping like a fucking vacuum, bro. Anyway, wow. um, and that's a hero story. No, no, no. <laughs> they're in the gra- they're in the ground. Surely, cold and deep under distant soil. That's where peace must be. That's where my children are. I'll find them. I'll ask the dust and the fallen leaves. But why? Will any of us ever know what kind of father, what kind of love would do this to us? Don't fly high, thin man. They'll see you. That's what the ghost is saying to Stephen. I got, Fuck it. I got so chills good. there. And then also this, when he remembers who he is, he's like, he talks about the accident. He's like, I, I remember, I remember my hands. Um, I lost who I was and became something new. I am Doctor Strange, master of the mystic arts. I am alive. I am the sorcerer, supreme protector of Earth against magical threats, but this place is not Earth. I hear a pendulum swing. I'm wreathed in a woven tapestry, or is it a web? 
It's so fucking good. Mm. It's so fucking good. Uh, it's the best thing in the world. Hunter, I, I will be honest with you, man. Uh, even as the Doctor Strange gatekeeper, I want you to read this because this is something you need to experience oh. before you fucking die. Thank it's God. So good. And I don't have much time left, so I, I should get No, you don't. Time. No, you don't. There's yeah. one in each leg now. Um, yeah, fucking so good. Oh so, so, so good. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely give it a read. read I, I will. I 100% will. Maybe, mm, I'll probably wait till it's all done and read it all in one sitting. But, oh my god can i read this one this one yeah. more part i'm enjoying this <laughs> just, i'm actually I enjoying just really this. enjoy reading this i look inside the heart of this ghost within coarse memories of love and lost separated compartmentalized and denied in denial shadows take enormous proportion and devils grow fat they must be reconciled and then he destroys the demon it's fucking so lit fucking it's deep. so lit <laughs> so good that is really good oh my god and yeah. that's a bureau story so oh. i'm glad we had this talk guys because it really cleared things up for you yeah sorry that Ooh. was that was a long apology but um Please don't cancel hunter yeah oh my god. because that'd be pretty cringe that'd be pretty cringe hey uh hunter hunter and jd mm -hmm. yes one more part <laughs> it's like the, in more it's part like the intro it. it's like the intro poem to the book you want me to end it like this yeah he will literally stop recording the second you finish. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So okay. stop recording and finish you what? <laughs> Man. People All right. wake early. Thanks for this listening. Morning. Um, look forward for Tuesday as we release a new video that we kind of talked about. It might be Zootopia, it might be D D, it might be something completely different. But uh we uh, what we is it? Be... Is it Timmy's talk? What is it? I actually maybe. don't know. Maybe. Uh I actually don't Tuesday. Know. <laughs> Stay tuned for Tuesday. Tuesday. So there's something we're recording this weekend, and I don't even know what it is. I don't either, <laughs> but it's coming out Tuesday. <laughs> Excellent. It's Tuesday, Tuesday. It'll be on our it'll be on our YouTube channel, youtubecom slash a hero story. And then uh, a hero story. Next week we'll be back for our Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special review episode of a hero story. <laughs> that, is technical. that is true, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta watch that shit. Yeah, you Ooh, do. Um, in 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 the coming weeks, we were gonna do it this week, but in the what weeks? In the in the weeks upcoming, in the weeks up wadding? Fuck me, we can't do it anymore. In the what weeks ahead, in the weeks <laughs> in the weeks ahead. Oh, what? we're gonna do it this week, but uh. <laughs> In the weeks forthcoming, no, proceed. It's a, what? It's a proceed. <laughs> Bro, what? We, when, when we thought Tyler was going to be on this show, we were going to do an episode about uh, MCU Phase Four and what we thought of it. Um, if it's been working, uh, what we think, we're going to go sort of like what we did today with, um, you know, uh, DC books, except go through all of Marvel Phase Four and talk about our thoughts and talk about did the phase work on the whole that's coming up in a couple weeks that might be a few it weeks might away, it but... might be next week if it's like a slow news week yeah we just we kind of just really want to actually it might be good to do it when the holiday special comes out because that is marvel and it's marvel <laughs> it's right guess. behind me isn't it it's right behind me isn't it so yeah I, you guys can finally hear jd's thoughts on miss marvel and she hulk yeah and moon knight she hulk Midnight? Miss marvel People wake early this morning, final morning of the year. Harried hearts, anxious thoughts, fall to winter near. What will the sun say? Who will it speak to? Lord, on the day that is seven. Lord, may the sun soothe. Red. Heaven help them. Red. Red and they ready themselves. Red and they weep. Red and they lock doors. Red and they don't sleep. Red sun, rise rue. Fear the hard hate, hateful hearts renew when they see the blood in the day to come and they know what they must do. Pretty cringe.